Hey, what's up everyone? So today what I want to talk about is I want to talk about a particular person who decided to just come out of the woodwork and talk shit about me. Wow. It's like something that rarely happens, you know. I that kind of shit never happens to me, right guys? Like I rarely get anyone talking negative about me. I rarely have any haters out there. Um, just jealous and fucked up and, uh, you know, not just upset, but fucking angry at uh, how well I'm doing, right? <laughs> so, um, usually I ignore this shit, as you guys know. Um, it happens so often, every day, pretty much. You know, it's a normal, a normal thing I'm used to, so I usually ignore it and just keep on rolling, right? Rolling with the punches, you guys know how it is. But this particular situation is... Um, someone that I looked up to, you know, when I was a teenage bodybuilder, I was obsessed with bodybuilding, you know, that was my life, you know, was to be on stage and compete and, you know, that was my dream. And I actually hung up posters and, you know, pictures from magazines up on my wall of bodybuilders. And, um, you know, I wake up in the morning and just fucking motivated to go train and eat and uh, become huge. And we're talking about when I was, you know, fucking, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, you know, that's what I wanted to do and that's what I was doing. So, uh, you know, so this particular individual was someone that I had up on my wall and I looked up to and at the time, you know, he was one of the top bodybuilders in the world. And, um, you know, it's, it's just funny looking back, you know, at someone that I looked up to as a teenager, you know, and also, you know, throughout my, you know, bodybuilding career, um, I never thought later in life that, um, you know, he would be on a feature film talking shit about me. <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's kind of funny when you think about it that way, at least, you know, from my standpoint to think about, you know, this was someone I looked up to, this was someone that, you know, was a top bodybuilder, um, you know, that, you know, back then I would have loved to just meet, you know, and say, oh, you know, God, nice to meet you. And, you know, and come to think, you know, he's... He's in a feature film, probably his his only feature film he's ever been in, and you know his topic of discussion is me, Rich Piana. So, but anyway, let's get to the subject matter. So, as you guys probably know, who I'm talking about is Rich Gaspari. Um, a lot of people were messaging me on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram. They're like, Rich, who is the old man that's talking shit about you in Generation Iron Two? Like, who is that guy? And what's crazy to me is that um, a lot of people, they don't even realize who he is. There's a lot of false, I call them false gurus. I'm not a big fan of Rich Piano because I just think he sends out a wrong message to uh, the young millennials. There's a person that I feel, you know, hurts the industry because they show the aspects of taking, you know, the taboo part of taking the drugs, but then they're sitting there selling their products, touting that their products work and other ones don't. So basically what Rich says is, I send out the wrong message to the young millennials, okay? Also he says that, you know, I talk about the, the taboo part of the sport, you know, meaning the steroid part of the sport. Now, what is just completely mind-boggling is, um, Rich Gaspari's company, uh, Gaspari Nutrition, was caught putting steroids in their supplements that people buy at a supplement store over the counter, that teenagers go to the store and buy supplements that are natural and they're actually taking steroids. So Rich Gaspari was selling steroids to the young millennials. <laughs> and he comes out and says that I send a bad message to the young millennials. Yet he's, wait, let me say it again, people. He was selling steroids. Now, not only selling steroids, these people that bought his products, they had no idea that they were buying steroids, that they were putting steroids in their body. So they weren't even given the choice to take steroids. They were buying and trusting that this company's products were exactly what they said they were. And obviously, not in a million years would you think that a company would put steroids in their product. Like, that doesn't, that's, 
that's mind boggling. Um, so I find it crazy, I can't even think of a word, that he would come out and make that statement against me when he was, all you guys gotta do is Google this shit. You know, it's all over the internet. You know, it's it was a huge situation. And yes, he was caught putting steroids in his products. Um, what was it, Halodrol, um, Novadex, and Super Pump 250, so three products. So he also says, I hurt the industry by talking about steroids. Um, as you guys know, people that follow me you know that I'm talking about them because I'm trying to educate people. And as you guys know, I'm against people taking steroids. Anyone that's natural that's thinking about taking steroids, I tell them don't, you know, don't stay natural. You know, that's the best scenario is to stay natural. And I commend everyone out there that is bodybuilding and even competing natural. You know, that's incredible. And, um, you know, I encourage people to stay natural. So my reasoning for talking about steroids is to educate people and let them know the things that I didn't know when I started taking them at an early age of 18. Um, there's a lot of information out there that, you know, when I was 18, it wasn't out there. There was no way to know it, to hear it, to read it. There wasn't internet, there wasn't books, there was nothing on steroids. So I really didn't have any idea what I was doing. So me educating people and putting it out there is letting people know the dangers that are associated with taking steroids and educate them so they can make the right choice and at least have more answers when deciding what the right choice is. So I believe that I am doing a great thing in educating the young ones and teaching them about steroids and the dangers in taking steroids. And it's, again, it's mind boggling that, you know, Rich Gaspari would come out and say these things just knowing his background. Now, you know, another thing is, you know, his supplement company was caught amino spiking, okay? Now, people out there, if you're not aware of what that is, it's basically ripping off the consumers. You know, basically, if the, if the label says there's 25 grams of protein, there could be fucking 12 grams of protein, and they're claiming it's 25 grams. Now, you guys can go Google this and read all about it. And all the facts are there on the internet about the case, you know, about the judgment and about, you know, what exactly was going on and what exactly his company was doing, what he was doing. Um, I'm not going to get into a whole, you know, A to Z um, explaining everything, but I've done videos on amino spiking and a lot of other people out there have done videos on amino spiking. And, you know, but what it is, is you're, you're basically lying to the consumer and you're saying that this is in the product and it's really not, you know. So that's one of the big reasons why I'm so against protein powder, as you guys know, is because there has been so many companies, like over 20 companies, you guys can go on the internet and read about it and see for yourself, that has been caught spiking their protein powders. Now, what that means is what it says on the label is not what you're getting. So when you think you're having a shake that has 50 grams of protein, there could be fucking 20 grams of protein. You're not getting what you think you're getting. Now, if you buy fucking six egg whites at the fucking grocery store, you're getting fucking six egg whites. You're not getting fake egg whites. It's the 100% sure way of knowing you're getting exactly what you think you're getting. You know, when you buy a protein powder, you have no fucking idea and all the chemicals and everything else in there. So. As you guys know, yeah, I have an egg white product, crystals, that is pure egg whites. Each scoop is an egg white. There's no nothing else in it but egg whites. So you're getting egg whites, you're getting exactly what it says on the label. So, you know, this video isn't about marketing my product or talking shit about anyone else's products. This video <laughs> is simply, you know, bringing up Rich Gaspari talking shit about me in a feature film for the whole world to see. And, um, you know, I just felt like, you know, it made sense for me, you know, to go ahead and uh, comment on, you know, what he had to say. And 
it's mind-boggling that he would go forward and, and talk shit. Um, he must really fucking, I don't know, that jealousy must be burning fucking <laughs> really hard for him to fucking go out and, and, you know, talk shit about me on a feature film knowing his background. Like, Jesus Christ, that's like fucking suicide. Like, Rich, what are you fucking thinking? Like, I mean, you have fucked up so much. And to even be involved in the industry, to have people even fucking want to look you in the eye or shake your hand is amazing with the fucking bullshit you pulled. And you're gonna come out and bring bring all this shit, all, uh, really? Like, fucking, you should be really fucking happy with the situation you're in and keep your fucking mouth shut.